Hey, what's up everyone? I want to talk about the zombie virus in deer, as it's commonly nicknamed. Now, this uh, particular disease, they're not sure whether it actually comes from an actual virus, or some kind of a contagion, or if it actually just is a buildup of something in the brain that affects the neurological condition of the mind. Now, in deer that have gotten this, they act like well, zombies. And it's right now even been spotted in Tennessee and areas of Missouri. As you can see here, areas of Michigan and Texas. Many other states. Many states, about about 24 out of 50 states have reported, almost half, have reported this zombie virus in deer. Deer who have known to have been dead and shot have actually jumped back up and scared the crap out of hunters. And another thing that happened is deer that have this disease, they slowly stumble, they get skinnier and skinnier until their they, their body deteriorates away like a zombie, and they're continuously walking and stumbling, and they said they'll drool and, and become aggressive and angry. And there's several theories as to what's causing it, but I'll read a few here. But it has hit 24 states in the United States. Farmers are being told to actually keep an eye out and be very careful. Not farmers, but anyone who is hunting. I'm not sure why I said farmers. But hunters. Farmers as well. If you're farming and you run up on a deer, be very careful. Because they can be aggressive. Now this so-called zombie disease has been reported in deer, elk, and moose across 24 U.S. states. According to a new warning by the Centers of Disease Control of the United States and the Prevention Control, CDC for short, Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, as of January of 2019, so last month, at least 251 counties across the United States from northern Montana all the way to southern Texas have reported CWC in free-ranging cervids, members of the deer family. Farther afield, there are similar concerns for reindeer all the way in Norway, Finland, and uh, to a lesser extent in South Korea. So it is all across this world. Scientifically known as chronic wasting disease, the contagious neurological disease gets its sensational nickname because of its effect of the on the brain of Cervids, including North American elk, wap, wapiti, de, uh, red deer, mule deer, black-tailed deer, white-tailed deer, sika deer, reindeer, and moose. Deer that have been struck with the disease suffer from a drastic weight loss, abnormal behaviors, strunk or abnormal behavior, stumbling, drooling, lack of coordination, aggression. They become very aggressive, excessive thirst and a fear of others, so they could act out of a, an abrasive action. CWC is actually, or CWD, sorry, is actually not believed by most to be caused by a bacteria, a virus, a parasite, or fungi, but they really don't know. So that's the thing. I'll post a link to this below, by the way. Instead, it appears it to be a prion disease, a group of neuro neurodegenerative diseases that are caused by rogue misfolded proteins binding up or building up in the brain. Once the prison, once the prion, excuse me, is formed, these rogue proteins can convert more of the normal protein into their abnormal form, setting off a chain reaction that results in the buildup of prions in the brain. Humans can suffer from an unrelated prion disease, known as. Kreutzfeld Jacob disease, so, or Kreutzfeld Jacob disease. And since humans can suffer from a similar disease, and it's been seen in a few humans, um, they uh, they're doing studies on this, but it's not believed that it can transfer humans from deer. But we can still suffer from a similar disease, a zombie virus. However, that's just one theory. The thing is, another claims. Another theory claims that the culprit is behind these diseases is the bacterium called spiroplasma. It sounds pretty scary, but they said, you need to lock up your doors and stock up on the tin food or canned food. Of course not, according to scientists. 
Scientists don't fully understand the disease, though, which that probably doesn't sound too reassuring itself. But there's no confirmed evidence that it can be transmitted to humans from deer so far. It doesn't seem to infect cattle or other domesticated animals either, so they assume that so far it can't transmit to humans. Now, humans do have a similar disease that can happen and has been known to happen, so they'll have to keep a watch on that, I'm sure, and they probably really should. The main concern is for free-roaming cervids and also the aggressiveness of them. Even then, the CDC notes that nationwide, the overall occurrence of this in free-ranging deer and elk is relatively low, even though it's, an, it's happening in 24 states. In several locations where the disease is established, infections rates may, infection rates may exceed 10%. One in 10 and localized infection rates more than 25% or one in four have actually been reported. So that's enough for concern if you ask me. According to the CDC, the infection rates among some re captive deer can be much, much higher. The rate of 79%, that's nearly four in five deer reported from at least one captive herd. So... That's concerning if you ask me. So I would definitely keep an eye on this, and I just want to share the latest news on this, this zombie virus spreading through deer and in some humans. So let's keep our eyes open. Peace, much love, and I hope to speak with all of you again very soon. I'm not feeling too well right now. I'm going to try to uh, take some Tylenol. Maybe I'll feel better. Peace, much love, bye.